it's a much easier transition now going throughout the year. Uh, we've got a lot more kids this year, so uh, it's a little bit of a different situation, but I feel like it's going smoothly. The level at which we learn is uh, starting to ramp up and get quicker so that we can put more sets on the field and get it done faster. I think it's a lot smoother from last year. Um, we have good section leaders. We also have a really good director. Last year, um, we had smaller numbers, so we didn't have as much energy, but now it's like it's almost like playing in a bigger high school band, and um, it's really fun, honestly. <laughs> Enthusiasm is there, and it's infectious. This year's Highlander Regiment has a strong group of senior leaders to help guide an extremely young band, one that even includes a few eighth graders. Both a lot of hard work and a lot of reps, band director Derek Dobbinspeck has some lofty goals in mind. I have a goal to get uh, ones at competition. It just takes a lot of willpower from the kids, and we have uh, evening and afternoon rehearsals, and it, it just takes a lot of want and need for them to want to get there. In order to reach those high marks, the Highlander Regiment will have to perfect their halftime performance, which is a bit of a throwback. This year's show is Phantom of the Opera. It's something near and dear to me. It's something that I really liked, and uh, the kids, we, we watched the movie last year, and they really liked it, so I felt like it was a good move for this year. It's something new to a lot of them. I, I think I only had about 10 that had known what Phantom of the Opera is, but now that they do know what it is, they really enjoy it. Definitely a lot of like passion. I think it's a really passionate piece. The music um, makes you feel a lot of emotions, so definitely a lot of cool shapes that the band does as well. You can catch the Highlander Regiment on the field at halftime October 11th when the MacArthur football team takes on Duncan. With your Band of the Week, I'm Kyle Weatherly.